Hello there, boys and girls. Welcome to tonight's vodcast. Tonight's vodcast is going to be on the structures and the functions of the parts of the circulatory system, otherwise known as the cardiovascular system. So the three main structures that we're going to talk about include the heart, the blood vessels, and the blood. So first of all, we're going to start off with the heart. So as we see here on the screen, we have a picture of the human heart. The function of the heart is to pump blood and oxygen and nutrients to the body. And this is very important because our cells need these things in order to make energy, to keep carrying out the cell processes that we need to survive. So as we take a look inside of the heart, we can see the different structures of the heart. Here's a cross section of the heart. So this means that we're taking a look at the insides of the heart. It's been cut in half. We have two chambers at the top and we have two chambers at the bottom. The chambers are compartments or areas where blood will flow into as the heart contracts. The two top chambers are called the atria. We have the right atrium and the left atrium. And then below them, we have the two ventricles. The ventricles are the bottom compartments that kind of have that V-shape to them. And again, we have the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Now the difference between the two is that the atria, they're located on the top of the heart. So since they're located on the top of the heart, they receive the blood from the body and from the lungs. So the right atrium receives blood from the body and the left atrium receives blood from the lungs. And when the atrium contract, they'll force the blood down into the ventricles. So the right atrium pumps the blood into the right ventricle and then the left atrium pumps the blood into the left ventricle. The ventricles, the bottom compartments, are the parts of the heart that send the blood outside of the heart. So the right ventricle is going to send blood outside of the heart to the lungs and then the left ventricle is going to send blood outside of the heart to the rest of the body. Now between the ventricles and the atrium, we have structures called valves, and these valves ensure that the blood flows in one direction, from atrium to ventricle. We don't have any backflow of the blood inside of the heart. It continuously moves in one direction. And then in the middle of the heart, we have this thick muscular wall here called the septum. And the septum is important because it keeps the oxygen-poor blood that comes back from the body on the right side of the heart from mixing with the oxygen-rich blood that's come from the lungs on the left side of the heart. So we want to prevent this mixture because we want to send the oxygen-rich blood out to the body so our cells can use it. So we want to keep the oxygen-poor blood that's already been used from being sent back out to the body. So let's take a quick look at how the heart functions as it pumps the blood through the heart itself. So as you can see, we have deoxygenated blood, colored in blue for oxygen-poor, pouring into the right atrium. And then we have oxygen-rich blood, signified by red, pouring into the left atrium. As the atria contract, they pump and push the blood down into the ventricles. So the oxygen poor is in the right ventricle and the oxygen rich is in the left. And then as these ventricles contract, they'll send the blood through the valves, going into two different areas. The blood that's leaving through the pulmonary artery is going to the lungs to pick up oxygen, and the blood that's leaving through the aorta already has oxygen, so it's now going out to the rest of the body to deliver to the cells. So that's the pathway of the blood through the heart as the heart contracts with each 